This will be a little introduction to our self-centering bobbin holder. And this bobbin holder will fit all of our B kit, B model, D model, C model uh, winding machines. It'll also fit a Mojo Tone winder. So I'm going to unbox this and uh, we'll show you how this thing works. So in the box we've got the uh, the bobbin holder. We have a little plastic template to help you uh, fit our bobbin holder onto uh, an existing uh, B, C, or D model winder. And a few screws for attaching it uh, to the winder arms. Okay, so this is what works. For a regular humbucking bobbin, we want to get this fellow so that the two threaded posts fit through the bobbin. Let's turn this thing over. There we go. In order to get it to self-center, I'm going to turn this. So which way do we want to go? There we go. Okay, the posts move outboard. It captures the bobbin. And I'm going to use one of these little clamps to put on here. And I'm going to thread the little knurling knobs on. And we'll snug that down. Come here, you. And that'll secure that bobbin to the holder. And let's just take this back apart for a sec. Come on. Loosen that up. Okay. If we're doing a single coil like this, where there's the hole through the bobbin. We're going to unthread the posts. And I'm going to thread it into the insert here in the center. It's good and snug. There we go. Okay. So the single coil will capture through that center hole. Now, this one's nice and flush on the bottom, so there's no issue. Some of the older ones, some of these pole pieces have started to come out of the uh, material, and you may need to use a U-clamp on the bottom as well as a U-clamp on the top. So let's put this guy on here, and we don't need a big tall one, we can use this guy, that's fine. Tighten that down. And we're good to go. Alright, let's look at installing the bobbin holder onto uh, our B kit. And I'm going to take the winder arm off. Now, in order to uh, fit this on, we need to drill two holes in the, uh, the existing winder arm. And we've provided this little plastic template, which you can place on the winder arm. And it shows where to drill two very small holes through the arm. It takes a minute. And to speed things along, I've already done that on this arm. So the uh, bobbin holder will be placed on the winder arm. One of the two smaller screws will thread into the bobbin holder. Where 
are you? There you are. All right, we'll take the screwdriver. Just tighten that down. And there we go. So this will go back onto the winding machine. Line that up with the flat. Tighten that down. That's installed. So if we were doing this single coil, that would simply go on. That will go on. And we can tighten that down. Good and snug. Set your limits. Put the wire on. Off you go. That's the bobbin holder.